so in the ppt we will see other operators okay so we sort till diagnostic commands okay it's where it will describe about the schema describe command and explain will describe about your logical physical plans and illustrate will describe about the step by step sequence of a statements how it is getting executed so later we will from uh, again we will see some more like a group by command group by which is a similar to sql command uh, it will be you can group the uh, certain amount certain um, based on the fields a certain data based on the fields okay like an aggregated result it will give and a group can also be performed with a tuple tuple in the sense uh, see group operator can be used to group the data in one or more relations okay what it will do you will have you would have loaded the data into a relation right and from that relation loaded a data into a relation before the equal to and in that from that relation uh, you can to that relation you can apply some constraints constraints saying uh, group by city or group by name or group by total vaccine vaccines group by date anything you will give okay group a relation by this is the syntax group can also be performed with a tuple tuple means you can give a two related data so tuple means it is a combination of uh, multiple fields right so you can give like a name and age or city likewise also you can group it okay based on the tuple and there is another uh, operator like a co group it is similar to group but used in statements involving the multiple relations like if you wanted to group by uh, relations like these are the relation name okay uh, city by population and village by uh, another population another relation if you wanted to group between relations okay say you have uh, loaded one set of data in one relation and another set of data in another relation if you wanted to group by two relations then you can go for the co group operator okay so joins are similar before going to join i will talk about a union and split operations combine is nothing but union yesterday we saw you can combine or union two relations okay using the union operator and split operator is used to split a relation into two or more relations okay relation one uh, into different relations you can give see relation means you have stored some data set values into the relation right that relation you can split it and you can give any condition for which you wanted to split it say for example you have that vaccine data and you wanted to see for the year uh, you want to split the data for the year uh, 2021 and for the year 2020 likewise you can split it and put it in a relation so that is also possible okay split command using split command filter command is to filter it will work like a where condition in mysql where we give no where conditions so likewise you can filter the data in mysql or sql databases likewise a filter operator is used to select record tuples from the relation based on the conditions okay so everything see once you load into a relation only everything will work on the relation itself not on the original data set yeah my screen is not visible guys is it i shared it no amalan i shared it i'll share once again Can you see now? Okay. So, uh, a filter relation filter is like the where condition, as I told, and uh, okay, where condition and uh, like. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what it works on the relation only. This relation is the one which you have loaded already into your pig environment for working on that. It will not take the data set like a.txt or the vaccine data set and it will work on that. Okay, there in the filter you can give a condition on what condition we wanted to filter it. And distinct operator is to give the distinct results. You also have a distinct keyword in MySQL also. I think I've shown this. So that distinct 
print will give a uh, unique results not the duplicated results okay and for each operator uh, is used to generate specific data transformation based on the column data okay so for each kind of a looping you can think for um, see for each in our normal languages why you use for uh, conditions you for each we say it is an enhanced loop right you have a condition over here for every data every data means every input value you will uh, display it or you do some manipulation inside your code similarly for every data you wanted to uh, generate something okay for every data uh, value i will show you some example in for each data value you wanted to generate something something then just generate some data then you can go for the for each um, operator okay these are all operators so here it is like come we have a comparison operators comparison operator matches and you also have a null operators also here so comparator comparator op, comparison operators like equal to equal to not equal to all this uh, logical operators it can be uh, these are relational operators right relational operators it can also be available in pig okay pig uh, programming pig application and um, then another one is uh, if either this uh, string being matched against or the string being match is null the result will be null see this comparison matches is if they are trying to we remember if null null you have to, we have done in mysql right null if so if null it will work on the null data it will check for the null data and gives the result if any one of the result is null it will give the result as a null value likewise you can also get this data in the pig okay we'll see examples in that you also have a case you have a binary conditions okay ternary operators uh, we used to have no ternary operator likewise and a modulo plus minus arithmetic operators are also supported okay anything which is returning null then value will also be null it means in your data set you will get no values at all and a null operator is null if the va tested value is null returns true otherwise return false you can use a null conditions also to check whether your condition is a true or false the okay, same like in your mysql is null is not null okay some in mysql for some columns you can check for the values of where is null is not null okay in your like if you are selecting select star from some person database or student table where uh, where mobile number is null is not null likewise also you can check it here in your fields in your data set values okay there are also dereferencing operator see dereferencing is uh, like a, there is a, something like a flatten operator okay mm, we say like a tuple uh, bag and um, map or complex types you can think or they are called itself as a data model itself okay so map uh, bag is the next step of a tuple right because it is a collection of a tuples M map can also have a key value pairs okay there is a something like a flattening what it will do if it is a very complex uh, uh, if your data is if you are loading your data in your pig environment com in a complex way like bags and all uh, if you wanted to flatten this black bag as tuple it means uh, if you wanted to segregate as a tuples itself then you can use this flatten operator i will show you how it is coming one by one we will see then the other operators like a co group group joins are there count star count this you know right we will see the count uh, uh, count of star it will use the number of count if uh, for, a, for a particular field in uh, mysql also you can give select of a count star this is an aggregate function if uh, some table like a student in that where if you wanted to uh, find the count of students number of a student okay like this then it gives an aggregated result similar way you can have it for your data set also but when i say data set also means it maybe you can find the count star for a particular field okay yesterday we loaded that state wise there was a state field right in that state how many states are there that you count you can get it 
okay cast operator is also present casting a null from one type to the another type results is a null they are saying uh, you can cast see we are giving the schema for uh, um, while you are loading the data so that is schema uh, type you can cast from one type to another type okay here they are saying like if it is a null value anyway whatever we do on a null value it will give the result as a null itself okay and the functions are like average min max sum count these functions ignores the null all this all aggregation operation also like functions also we can have it in pig okay concatenation operation for the strings and size will return the size value okay size operator we'll see that okay we will see some examples in this and then we will go to joins and groups okay Any doubts in this uh, slide? Okay, fine. Then I will go to the PT lab. Okay, uh, I will come out of this grand shell which I will open yesterday. Uh, control L. So we will again launch pig from the local directory. Okay, I am launching from pig dir. Okay, so all the files here, I don't have to give the path, I can directly use it. Okay, yesterday we saw the about the union operator. Union will uh, unite these two operators, sorry, two relations in the pig. And today we will continue. Just a moment. Okay. So what I will do is I will split uh, the whatever we have uh, union it. Okay. It will be present. I told you. If you can recall the command, it will be present. The relation. No. Once we load into a relation, it will have the. Uh, it will uh, unless until you load anything into the relation, any other values into the relation, it will be present. Okay. If you dump and see, I loaded two things. Okay. Mm, yesterday, if you see, I loaded a dot text into the relation one and b dot text into the relation to so what was a dot text and b dot text is it was containing some numerical values in a dot text two lines and it is a containing uh, b dot text two lines okay from here so after now i'm not loading it i can just dump and see if it is loaded properly the rel one it is showing error find operator alias rel one I think it is uh, gone. Okay, I will load it again. So load a dot text using the pick storage comma separated as a1, a2, a3. Okay, three fields are there. So three for the three fields names I have given and the schema definitions. Okay, it is loaded. These two are warnings. Okay, so I'll dump and check whether it is loaded properly. It is a loaded fine. Okay, it is a success successful. Uh, already job is done. Already initialized. Uh, it is a success here. It is showing. Okay, success. So it is a loaded. Similarly, I will load into b dot uh, text also. Okay, load b dot text using the pick storage. The input file is in the form of a text with a comma separator as this schema. Okay. So uh, dump rel1. Only if you do dump, you can see the execution. Otherwise, it will plainly be loaded. Okay. Now it is both loaded. So in the relation, new relation, I was uh, doing the union of rel1 and rel2. C equal to new relation name I have given C. C equal to union of union rel1 comma rel2. This is how you have to write. So, okay, it is not executing because it is it is fine. This uh, statements, 
what I will do, I'll do dump of C. So dump is giving the union results. On this result, what I will do now C is containing what C is going to contain the uh, union results, a combined result of uh, A dot text and B dot text. So on this uh, combined result, what I will do is uh, I will try to split it. Okay, the split data. This is the data. So this data I will try to split it. The command to split is directly you can split it split mm, I will put this uh, information into another relation split uh, rel3 not split C okay into rel1 relation 3 new relation if I will explain it okay if a1 is greater than 0 okay so what this command is going to do i'm going to split the relation c c is going to contain all this aggregated that is a union result into i'm going to split the data and put into a relation relation 3 what is the condition based on the condition that the field a1 should be greater than 0 i hope this you understand it uh, i will not write this this is an error see if you see schema describe uh, a rel1 okay see if you see the schema rel1 it is having a1 as the first column name right a2 is the second and a3 and it is having this data type similarly if i describe a rel2 relation 2 it is having b1 b2 and b3 so what i'm doing with this is with this um, data uh, dump to c with the relation C is, C is split the relation C okay into what uh, as into the rel3 new relation you are going to store the data if a1 is greater than 0 I am saying okay let's see what it is giving the result as no comma I should not give um, It is throwing error. Some error it is giving. Okay, so the understanding here is, uh, see, we are going to split that data, right, that C relation into two. Split means it will divide into two. So one portion, one portion which I am splitting, A1 is greater than zero, I am putting it into relation three. And the other portion, it is actually splitting into two, right? And the other portion, I am going to put it into relation four. That is the reason it was not taking it as a single. Okay, the syntax is two. It, if I do this, it will. It is going to give me error. We can also see what is the error in this log. Okay, I will open that log and show. If you see, it will be generated in, in which folder we have launched the grand shell. So this is the error. Pig uh, six five six, I think. Okay. Okay, unable to find the operator alias rel1 it is saying. Okay, that is the error it is showing. Why? Because uh, it split will do two divisions, right? In that case, you have to specify uh, like uh, ba some conditions. Oh, for that condition, you are going to store it in one relation and into another relation. So this I have done. Uh, I will show you dump the, I have put it in relation 1, 3 and relation 4. Okay, dump the relation 3. 
so see relation 3 is a containing the data of the split likewise which are whichever is uh, greater than 0 okay and relation 4 I will explain again don't worry okay relation 4 is containing like this if you see it here what I will do I will put that relation data into a file so how to put into your files store C into file name is um, union output union out using pick storage because I wanted to show how it is actually working it is comma separated So it has stored the data, it is a success. If you see in our pick directory, the, the data will be present. Okay. Okay, so CD union VI part file, if you check, it's not there. Okay, it is there in part of file one. Okay, this is the data, something is happening. I'm trying to store the C in two the directory out using pick storage because it has not taken proper results so i'm seeing it again <coughs> okay lsf and lrt cd out It is creating two part files. Part of that is present in this and part of that uh, is present in the another file. Okay, it is not storing the union results. It is creating two part files and it is storing it. So, okay, my idea is to show you here is how the split happens. Okay, split command, I am giving it likewise. The split command is split C into relation if A is greater than 0 and the another set I am giving the relation as uh, in, into the relation 4 where A1 is also greater than 0 or you can give anything else. Okay, A1 is equal to equal to 0. Okay, it means A1 is greater than 0 means if you see in our data set, cd dot dot slash c v i a dot text in a dot text zero it will store it will uh, only filter out split out one three four okay and uh, in a b dot set the union result is This is the union results, right? I told like A1 should be greater than uh, 0. So whatever the uh, condition is satisfying, that is the second tuple. Tuple you can say complete row. Or the, under the third, fourth tuple will be uh, split into one relation, which is a nothing but relation 3. And it will uh, store in relation 3. Likewise, if A1 equal to equal to 0, I am giving in the second uh, condition. So this line and the first line and the third line will be um, split and put it into a relation relation 4 okay so I enter this this is fine I will dump and show what is stored what is uh, stored in the relation okay in rel 3 if you see the results 
if you want to see the results you have to see see uh, whatever is not matching that is greater than uh, a1 field is zero that it is uh, giving it and in the dump rel4 whatever is equal to zero that it is giving because my script is written like this okay guys is this a fine is this clear how the split happens see split divides your relation data set into two okay so uh, you can you don't have to give a condition for the another relation you can give like this also tell four okay but it is throwing error it is asking for some conditions actually okay you can set some other conditions also for splitting in the other set okay two sets it will split one uh, split will divide your data into two and for uh, one set of data you can give a condition to store it in your relation likewise for the other set of data which is split you can give a condition to store it in your relation okay then you can only work on that relation only okay you can do one uh, find a filter in this relation 3 itself find a filter in a relation 4 itself that also i will show okay how my data is um, uh, split we have seen right now relation 1 and relation 2 what are the data it is having we have seen okay on relation 3 sorry relation 3 and relation 4 in relation 3 what i will do i will do a filter of a data okay filter of a data so if you see the data relation 3 was containing the 0 uh, a1 greater than 0 so this line and this line it is uh, having so if i try to filter only that relation then you have to give this command Okay, filter the data i'll show in the uh, uh, data set of our state wise vaccination vaccination also but for first understanding i will show it here filter filter the relation uh, 3 by a1 say another field i'll take like a3 if you can see it a3 equal to equal to 4 we will give okay equal to equal to 4 so this is this has to be stored into a relation okay i'll say the relation name as a fill equal to this one okay what i'm doing here is i've split the data into two right now when after splitting the rel one was containing like this rel sorry not rel1 rel3 is containing the data like this and rel4 is containing the data like this these two are things okay so on particular relation i can do a filter also so what i am doing filter the relation 3 which is nothing but it is containing these two fields in that i will filter it based on uh, the field a3 okay a3 field is 0 1 2 the third field equal to equal to 4 i will not give or say for example equal to equal to 2 or equal to we will take a1 a2 okay because uh, uh, a3 is having both two a2 greater than two likewise i give okay so this filter command what it will do uh, it will uh, i mean filter it and put it into another relation the that relation name is a fill okay this is done i will dump and see the results fil see now it is uh, giving this as the result uh it is giving nine and uh, why it is giving like that a relation three by a2 is greater than two so it is giving the complete results itself a relation two is three is having this value yeah relation 3 is containing 198 right and uh, i think i have written wrongly here relation 3 is containing 198 and 134 uh, okay relation 4 is only containing uh, that is zero with the zero results i think i'm confusing you all i will ask, explain again okay so what i have written in the filter is like um, a2 as great 
and dump dump fill okay it is confusing please tell me is it confusing i think it is confusing did you understand split split we can do on our complete sets itself that also i will show okay Okay, we have loaded our state uh, vaccine data, right? So in that I will do some splits and I will show how it is coming. Okay, ls lrt Here I have this uh, state-wise uh, testing details, right? Dot CSV. In this file, we will uh, do some splits. Okay, so this uh, file, what are the fields it was having? I think um, in which relation I have stored vaccine, I think. Uh, dump vaccine, if it is uh, loaded, I will see. It is not loaded now. Why? Because I have quit the grand shell and came back. No, so it was it was uh, that the data was uh, removed from the vaccine uh, relation. So what I will do? I will load it again. Vaccine data like um, vaccine underscore data equal to in this uh, load the state wise that file. Load that file. Copy and paste that. Load that file using pick storage. As uh, state, a schema I will give state care array and total samples as a care array come on negative it was containing negative and positive uh, results not positive and negative pause and care array both are integer i can give i think int and a positive as int okay so this is how i have loaded the data so I will dump this vaccine data now. I will show the split in this data set. So the vaccine data is this one. This is the vaccine data it is containing. So what we will do, we will split this data, okay, based on some uh, city or something like that. So the relation name is a vaccine data. In the vaccine data only it is a store vaccine data into new relation i will split okay into like um, city vaccine by uh, vaccine underscore like um, some city we can take it like what was it having like uh, goa okay goa i will uh, divide it if go the vaccine state is right the state is state equal to equal to goa okay this i will give and another relation into another relation i like uh, vaccine underscore what else we can give like haryana i will give haryana 
okay in that what is the condition i'm going to give state equal to equal to haryana okay what is the spelling they have given or kerala also we will give kerala so what i'm trying to do here is i'm going to split this data set okay into two split will do two so in the first can uh, first relation into the relation two okay vaccine underscore goa relation and vaccine underscore kerala relation into the vaccine goa relation all the state belonging to goa will be segregated and put and into the vaccine underscore kerala relation all the uh, state related to kerala will be segregated will be splitted and put okay we will enter this and see yeah, semicolon i have to give it is fine okay it is uh, splitted now we can dump this where we have uh, split the relation we have split the relation based on goa city and kerala city okay so uh, that data go about the goa data we have put it in a vaccine goa into vaccine goa relation and about the kerala we have put it in into vaccine kerala relation so we will dump this vaccine underscore goa okay this is the relation name so i will dump this and show so it all the details are related to goa okay that it is loaded into the uh, vaccine underscore goa relation okay you can see this see starting from goa end then we will see about the kerala okay all the all the data related to kerala is put it in the vaccine kerala relation then from now on on this city only uh, you can work okay you can ha you have the relation vaccine underscore kerala on this relation only you can start writing your further scripts okay is this clear tell me amlan manigandan sir and venkana babu so split is it clear okay on the split uh, also so it is containing uh, positive and uh, negative values right so we can filter it filter is like filter relation you have to give filter goa relation okay filter goa i am going to give so filter the vaccine the relation underscore goa by uh, what we can say that um, positive is not a null okay so positive is the field if you can describe this and see I'm just giving a wrong command if you describe uh, vaccine goa we have a pos a schema if you describe it it gives the schema it has a schema of with one field positive okay so positive not null i'm going to display filter it okay that's what i'm going to do in this command that filter underscore goa in that filter you uh, filter the relation name relation name is the split relation okay goa i have split you no know, split relation by what is the condition condition is pos is a not null okay i will enter it it is fine because it has checked the syntax okay semantics it is fine if i dump that dump the relation that is a fill underscore goa it will give us the result okay see whatever is positive is not null result the fourth one is the positive field whatever is not null it is displaying the result okay guys but for the negative it is also displaying all with or without results for the negative there is only one and uh, some more are there here one is there but for the positive whichever is not null it is displaying the result is this clear filter how do we apply and if, uh, uh, on your data set okay see i am now showing each and every command separately later on you can group it together all the commands and write it in a uh, one by one relation so uh, uh, it will give the output for, see uh, how i am writing if you can see it first i have written i have loaded that uh, data right 
what is the command i have loaded the data the data is loaded into vaccine data from now on vaccine data is my input to further actions further action what i did i split the vaccine data using the relation vaccine data right and from there i got two relations which is vaccine underscore goa and vaccine underscore kerala split data vaccine underscore goa i used to do the filtering okay so likewise it will do okay one by one step all these steps which i am doing separately you can group it together and write it as a single command also okay so uh, it will uh, no execution will happen only unless until you do a dump of the relation okay otherwise it will just check, check the semantics and it will just load it into your relation and keep it as such okay load means physical memory it will not take it will refer okay what are this data in your hdfs itself okay that is how it works okay mm, filter we have seen no then after that what we will see some more commands we will see okay Okay, we will do uh, something like order. Okay, order, order, you remember in your MySQL if you have done, order is to order it by either ascending or descending order. Right, okay, uh, for that I will take a new small uh, uh, sample data set. Okay, I have already populated one uh, table which is a student underscore data table vi student underscore data table in my pick directory this is present in the local directory and it is having all these fields okay so like a student id name his age or marks you can think of this because 98 cannot be the age right as a student so marks you can think and his city where he belong, belongs to okay age also we will we keep it as age only and we will make it like this as a 20, 38, 25, 26, like this, 35. Okay, this is a student, uh, all the data like Peter, John, all the information are present, about a student is present in that. We will work on this one for some time. Okay, so what I will go, I'll go to the grand shell. I will order this. Okay, it is in like uh, one, two, three. The ordering is not proper, right? I will order it based on the ascending order or a descending order. So, what I will do into a relation, okay? I will do a relation, create a relation, order one. Relation name is order one. So, how do we order? Order the uh, student. For ordering, I have to load that student data into a relation, right? Because I cannot directly work on a file right this is not possible right student data dot text i cannot work right so for that i have to load this student data into a relation so what i will do i will have a relation name as a student data and i will load the data that is student underscore data dot txt file uh, using pick storage which type it is a comma separated file only so using a pick storage okay comma separated as schema i can give because i know the fields the first field i'll take it as id and uh, the type of the id i will give it as integer and the second field is a name field i will take and uh, type of the name field is a character array i will give c h a r r array okay and uh, third field i will give it as uh, uh, age and i will give it as an integer and the fourth field i will give it as a city and it will i will give it as a care array okay it is a string so care array okay i am loading the student data text which is of the form a pick storage which is a comma separated file into student data relation okay and the schema definition which i have given for the relation is id name age and the city i enter this so if you dump and see or if you describe if i describe it it will give the schema relation of the sorry schema uh, details of the relation describe student underscore data 
okay so the schema for this relation student data is it is looking like this okay describe command anywhere anytime if you forget that what schema you have given you can use that then now i'll dump it student data relation okay this is the relation name okay this is a student relation name this is the relation name enter it see now it is all loaded okay so every time whenever it is loaded it will take the basic data model of a tuple okay uh, in, inside a open and a closed circle breaker brackets it will give the uh, as a tuple okay each record each line will be taken as a tuple and it will display you the results okay it is in the form of a tuple which is a loaded into a student data okay guys now since i loaded it i wanted to do the ordering okay as ascending ordering or descending ordering based on the field or the age or for, by the uh, name okay so what i will do i will create a relation for that order one order one equal to i'm giving spaces and all because it will be easy for you to see right that's why order or this is the command student data the relation name is student data by field by some by some field you have to do the ordering no? by field id i am doing and uh, if i don't give anything it will defaultly take ascending order otherwise i can give asc okay so if i enter it does not exist it is saying invalid field projection okay id is a capital letter okay this id schema i have given small letter that's why it threw error so now it is fine okay it is taken if i dump and see the order whether it is uh, that sorry uh, or uh, if i dump and see the order po populate sorry. if i dump and see the relation order one it will we will know, get to know that whether it is populated correctly okay enter see it is a populated see you can see it it is ordered by the id ascending order right similarly you can give a descending order also like um, descending okay or by something else a name i will order it okay name field is capital name and i will say the relation name is ord descending okay some name relation name i'm giving it is fine no errors in this so and dump and see whether order underscore dsc relation is populated finally like populated descending order descending order by name okay name if you can see name is uh, uh, ordered descending in a descending order like tina suresh rita ram peter john and jay Cody. likewise it is ordered okay guys if you don't give anything then it by default in the order if you don't give anything in the order operator it is an operator in pig if you call it order operator if you don't give anything in uh, like ascending or descending defaultly it will do it ascending order okay enter okay dump it ord and dsc see if now you can see the name is a dan uh, alphabetically ordered the names are alphabetically ordered it is now we are not uh, into relation order one right this is a new relation order underscore descending i have given i think i have loaded into the same order but it is giving the result properly is this order command fine Okay, Venkana Babu, is it fine? Only thing is that the command writing syntax may vary a little, otherwise, it is all going to be the same. Okay, so what we will do, we will work on our data set, which is nothing but the vaccine data. Okay, we, we will do some ordering in that. Okay so i will come out of this so our data set which we have a uh, uh, relation which we have loaded the vaccine data set is vaccine data okay this is there it is containing all the data so what i will do i will 
order create a relation order order by state okay so in that i will order uh, vaccine data relation that is holding the complete data set right by state okay this will do ascending order sorting okay this is fine now we will dump the order relation order by state if you are having your machine open please try it with me okay it will be easy later on you won't forget it okay if you can see west bengal is the going to be i think it is already ordered if you can see it will be ordered in alphabetical order okay guys what we will do we will order descending then we can see what is the last one i will order it by descending okay so dump order by state it ordered and it is storing into a relation order by state so when you can only dump the relation see now you can see the lastly andaman and nicobar has come before west, west bengal has was there no okay likewise you can put it in your uh, whole completed data sets itself okay and what else group by group by uh, did i show okay group by also we can do in this uh, group say i give the relation name as group 1 equal to group vaccine data that is the relation by country i will i will show you how it is grouping okay uh, it doesn't exist it is saying by state i should not give it as country it is a state you know the field is name by state i am grouping it okay mm, then i enter it dump group 1 enter see if you can see it how it is a grouping it is a grouping based on the uh, fee state okay before seeing this we have our student data right in this i will do a group and show then it will be easy because it, this might be confusing so what i will do uh, we have a, a loaded our student data this data into student underscore data relation that is a student dump student underscore data relation is having that information okay this one so this what we will do we will group by city okay uh, this data we will group by city uh, so i will write a relation name group 1 equal to group the relation name is a city, uh, vaccine underscore data by the field name is a city city is capital i have given okay it will group the uh, relation vaccine data in data whatever the data it is containing into a city okay group it by city and it stores into group 1 relation okay i will enter this it is showing error i think um, okay it is not vaccine data sorry the relation is uh, student underscore data not vaccine data std underscore data i was trying a wrong okay by city by city it has grouped now if you check it uh, dump it the group relation and see group 1 uh, okay if you can see it here uh, it is a coming see if you can see right there were if you see the uh, data pune who are all is present only rita is there in pune and uh, chennai uh, jayakodi uh, and tina is there in chennai hyderabad uh, peter and uh, ram is there in hyderabad and uh, delhi john suresh and another suresh okay uh, another suresh with a different age is also there in delhi if you can see the dump results after grouping you can see for pune only rita is there for delhi suresh two sureshes and one john john is there and for chennai jaykodi and tina is there for hyderabad in city hyderabad ram and peter is there okay this is how it groups if you can closely study this output 
you can see that pune right uh, see this is the tuple right and i told how the bag will be written bag will be written with a open and closed curly braces this is the bag okay during the grouping of anything it will give you the results in bag okay in the complete uh, data see this bag okay this bag bag of a chen uh, delhi containing three tuples okay one is that is suresh with 35 age suresh with 25 age and john with 33 age okay three uh, uh, three tuples are present in delhi city okay delhi city means for a delhi value for chennai i am grouping it by uh, the city right for chennai city two people are present one is jaykodi and tina and they are put it in a bag okay this is the bag data structure bag data model we say it as a data model okay data model means the complex types you know that we say it as a data model containing of grouping of many simpler types okay here tuple is the uh, minimal type and bag is the next level of the tuple okay so whenever you group it this is how it gives the value data the result in a tuple okay guys so this data is present in which uh, relation in group one relation if you see the command in group one relation i am grouping the student data by city and storing it to group one relation and i am displaying group one okay is this fine the bag and the tuple you can also group by other fields too okay say for example I have, there are multiple fields also you can group by okay say for uh, if i group by the id okay id i'll try to group by uh, so if you wanted to group by multiple uh, fields then you have to give city comma id or i will write in your brackets i have to, you have to give id comma city okay so i will put it in group 2 another relation group 2 enter it it is a fine i'll dump the results and see group 2 okay if you can see now the bags this is the bag result right it is all changed see it is a grouping based on the field also id field also and it is grouping based on the city also so how it is giving the result uh, this is the for the id1 and hyderabad there are two outputs two person are uh, residing in hyderabad ram and peter with id 1 okay if you can see it in the data set ram is id 1 and is is present in hyderabad peter is also um, uh, having id 1 and is present in hyderabad likewise it has a grouped okay and for delhi you have multiple results you see for id 2 delhi john only is present for id 3 Suresh, two Sureshes are present. Okay, if you can see it in your data set, John is present in Delhi, but his ID is two. Suresh, is, uh, two Suresh are present in Delhi, and his ID is three. Those are grouped together. And in Pune, and in Chennai, for ID five, Tina is there. For ID six, Jaykodi is there. So they, we cannot group it together, right? Though the city is Chennai, but IDs are different. So it is grouped accordingly. Is this fine? Is it clear how the grouping is happening? Because a group is kind of an aggregated results. The end results which you are going to generate from the reduce, right? Reduce program. What you will do, you sum up and give the results. No? So you can write your statements by grouping the data and say it. See, if you have a problem statement saying like, find the number of people who are from a particular city. Find the students who are from Chennai. Find the students who are from Mumbai or Delhi or from uh, some other states like um, Telangana or from uh, Bihar, okay, or from uh, Maharashtra. So by city, if you wanted to state or city you wanted to do, you can do the group by like this. Okay, you can group by multiple fields also. Okay, guys. So what I will do, the same thing I will write it in our data set. So our data set is vaccine data, right? Dump vaccine underscore data. This is our relation. Okay, this is our relation. In this, we will group. Okay, we will group based on the... Uh, say i have a group based on state okay group the relation name is group underscore state group vaccine data 
vaccine underscore data is the relation name by state okay we have a field state the first field is state we have the given the schema for the vaccine underscore data also with the state is there okay this is fine i dump this group underscore state is the relation okay so if you can see how it is all grouped i will show you i go up okay if you see that um, andhra pradesh see this is a complete bags okay all the related inside a bag the bag is starting from here for the uh, state andhra pradesh all the data are grouped this is one tuple this is another tuple this is another tuple okay this is another tuple all this data are grouped together it starts from here and all the tuples are all the records are grouped together there are so many for the andhra pradesh city and it is listing it here till here see it is closing it here it is completely enclosed in open and closed brackets is this clear guys this is how uh, grouping is done just a moment okay this is fine right uh, okay here also in our data complete data set you can group it by other ways other like uh, i mean i will group it between two fields or more than two fields or one field more than one fields we will see so i will write it in another data set like group underscore uh, state and total vaccine total okay this is my relation name here i give group which relation i am going to group vaccine underscore data by if you are going to uh, group it by more than a single field then you have to give it in brackets okay uh, state comma total sample i think i forgot the field name now so where can you find what schema we have given uh, we can describe the vaccine data okay in that the total samp see what is the field name i have given i can see it here so what i will do group underscore based on state and total equal to this is a relation name anything you can give okay for readability i am giving like this so group uh, uh, vaccine data is the relation which relation vaccine data by state okay state field and total sample field okay total sample field i am going to group it enter it if any error is there it will throw error here itself otherwise this is fine okay now we can dump the relation group this real one group underscore state underscore total okay it will group it like that and it will give the result see you can see based on the state and the num total vaccination it is grouping the data okay why it is it will always come a single single result okay only one result will be there why because total samples okay for each city in each different time frames will be may not be unique if it is unique okay then it will come in the same bag itself if this is the bag in that bag itself two entries you will see since it is not a unique it is coming like this okay is this okay how grouping is done everyone amalan manigandan sir and uh, venkana babu you don't have any doubts amalan okay i think um this is all fine order group okay distinct we will see okay distinct is we will take the same thing 
in this data set small data set here what i will give distance will remove the duplicates and give us the proper uh, correct results okay so that i how we can dis describe it that i will show so we have a relation named dist equal to i will give distinct on which relation you wanted to have a distinct values which is nothing but student data relation okay student data is the relation no i have already loaded this in this student data relation you want a distinct values enter it it is fine okay so otherwise if you are not giving properly and all like name and all is not there if you are giving wrong relation name it will throw error you can see here saying undefined alias student da okay error it is giving otherwise it will not throw any error directly it will give next grand shell okay it will prompt the next grand shell what i we will do now we will uh, dump this relation this one we have uh, segregated the distinct results of student data and it is present in the relation dist so that if we dump and see we can see the distinct results okay there is no distinct uh, there is uh, there is no duplicates here yeah okay there is no duplicate so all the data are giving given say for example uh, suresh if i give uh, same thing age also as uh, 35 and i will copy one more uh, like ram okay say suresh i have two uh, entries okay 35 delhi 35 daily and id is 3 and for uh, ram also two entries are there okay similar entries if i if you wanted to remove the duplicates and see then again we have to load it because uh, we have not loaded right we have made a change in the file so again we will make a make the we will load that as distinct results into the relation dist enter and dump it dist okay then now it will show you distinct results see if you can see suresh 35 uh, 235 are there no suresh suresh 235 suresh are there okay uh, one is a remote okay and if you see a ram one ram is removed okay that is what it is happening here i think i have not saved this okay suresh 35 is there suresh 35 is there again i will do because it is giving different result uh, yeah now you can see suresh one third only one suresh is there and only one ram is there it has given the distinct results see it is a kind of a filtering or it is a kind of a cleaning up your data set okay here i have worked on a small student data set see in our vaccine data set if it is having multiple you may not know right the the raw data which you are getting it from the outside world you do not know like how many duplicates are not is present that time you need to clean up that data set right that time what you can do you can load the data set completely into your relation and you can give distinct okay so the same distinct if i try to give vaccine data start distinct Mm, we cannot see the results why because i will open the sample data one time one minute mm. vi state see in this right it is having a total samples negative and positive values it may not be like the total samples total sample values everywhere it varies say okay if you see this these two uh, records inputs it is duplicated here okay so it will give a single result here okay uh, likewise for others if it is having duplicated results it will remove one result and it will give a distinct result only but since it is a little huge data set you may not able to see the result but i will do and show in vaccine 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 underscore distinct equal to distinct the relation in which relation i'm going to find the distinct values in relation vaccine data so it is uh, making a distinct value and stored in vax underscore dist i dump this okay
see it is giving huge values okay uh, what i will do i will store this data also okay store uh, vac uh, underscore data dist into some file um, vac file vaccine file using pick storage I'll store it and show whether duplicate values are present or not because here we cannot see it as I told store will also start the map reduce some execution in pig engine so I have stored the data in ls lrt cd vac file ls lrt we have the part file okay in the part file uh, we will see the for the data one minute we have seen a duplicate for this one right 7327 and the month right we will see whether this is one time or two times it is present that's right in our sorry I'm going to the VAX file in that uh, we have the part file in this we will see okay for the Andaman and Nicobar okay see for Andaman and Nicobar there is only one results it is a remove the distinct value that's what I wanted to show it here so on your data set itself you can do that okay is uh, this is fine right distinct and another thing I will show is a co group. okay co-group is like uh, what uh, what the co-group will do this is grouping right all the group we have seen how it is grouping into a bag co-group what it will do it will group from different data sets okay say for example i am having a customer data and i am also having a purchase data here i will create one more data set like a cust data okay if i'm going to group one data set and another data set that is grouping of two relations then that that time you can use for co-grouping so what i will do i will write some input for the we already have a student data right vi student data is there i will also have like something like a customer data cust underscore data in that i will set some values i don't i did not populate this uh, value now just give me one minute i will populate it Okay, now I will write some values in this like uh, 1 comma some name I'm writing okay some 32 Chennai comma 2000 2 comma Muni comma 25 Delhi comma 1500 and 3 comma Kaushik comma 23 comma Pune comma 3000 some data I will uh, enter it for another data set purple comma 8500 and 6 comma kumar 
कमा ट्वेंटी टू चेन्नई फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवन कमा राहुल कमा ट्वेंटी फोर इंदौर ओके लाइक वाइज आई हैव सम डेटा इनपुट्स सो नाउ आई हैव टू टू डेटा सेट वन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इस स्टूडेंट अंडरस्कोर डेटा एंड अनदर वन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज इस कस्ट अंडरस्कोर डेटा इन कस्ट डेटा आई रिसेंटली एंटर ऑल दिस इनफॉरमेशन सो व्हाट आई विल डू फॉर यूजिंग दिस कस्ट अंडरस्कोर डेटा वी हैव टू लोड इनटू टू एर रिलेशन स्टूडेंट डेटा सेट वी हैव ऑलरेडी लोडेड कस्ट डेटा सेट आल्सो वी विल लोड इट सो फॉर दैट व्हाट वी हैव टू डू यू विल राइट लाइक कस्ट अंडरस्कोर डेटा इज एस अ रिलेशन नेम और एनीथिंग यू कैन गिव custom cust only you can give okay and load uh, file name is uh, cust underscore data dot txt using what type using the pic storage um, okay uh, and we are, we can give the schema because we can identify each of the field name here here it is one alex uh, age you can give this city and the uh, uh, amount okay or the price or the cost like that anything you can give so what i will give uh, the schema definition i'll give it as id id as um, an integer name as the uh, char, char array and id name is their age as integer and um, city city right city or yeah city as a car array and uh, amount or some amount he uh, used to purchase something like that you can think some amount he has uh, spent likewise so that is also integer i am giving so i have loaded this uh, data okay uh, control l see this is the load command cust data is loaded into cust relationship cust underscore data using the pig storage uh, the the values in the cust underscore data is read like a comma separated file and the schema i am going to give for the relation is this one okay this is the schema okay now what i will do i will dump and check whether my cust relation is populated properly yes it is a populated fine now what i will do i have to show you the command for co group so i will give a relation for co grouping okay co group one this is the relation name anything you can give as i told so co group um student data okay i co group this by group you know right you group by city or something likewise i co group student data by city and also comma co group uh, the cust data here the relation name this is a relation name okay relation name is cust by city2 okay so two relation i am co grouping so how it is going to give the results it is fine okay so co group this is the relation name for the student data set and this is the relation name for cust data set which we have loaded now into pig environment now i will dump the relation new relation i have created co grouping these two relations now i will dump the relation co group Okay, one. Okay, see how it is giving the results. The group group has happened in such a way that it is happening based on the city. Okay, and inside the city, um, it is taking the results from two uh, data set. If you can see, this is a, a data set of a cust customer data, cust data, right? Customer data set. Here it is having a city like Chennai. okay if you can see here the result chennai it is having data from student data jay kodi and tina is in student data set right and kumar and alex are in which data set mm, the customer data set okay so it is grouping the two data set and put into a bag and it giving the results the first relation it is put in a one bag and the second relation is put it into a another bag okay this this we call it as a Sub uh, sub bag, okay. Uh, inside a bag, you inside a uh, single for a single grouped value itself, you have multiple tuples, right? This you call it as a sub package package rather than bag. You can say, okay, guys. This is how it is done. Is this clear? Say for Bhopal, Bhopal, 
ram is present in bhopal ram is from student data set if you can see ram is not is ram, sorry ram is from uh, customer data set okay we have uh, grouped by Bo, uh, city right for bhopal ram is present but ram is not present in ram is present in hyderabad but not in uh, bhopal in the student data set that's why that bag is empty okay so it is all here if you can see delhi if you see your student data set in delhi suresh are two sureshas are there okay 35 35 two sureshas are there and john is also there in your student data set if you go to cust data set in delhi who are all there only moni is there okay so cust data set value will be put in one bag and student data set value will be put in another bag and it is grouped together multiple relations multiple data sets you are grouping together and storing it here you can ask me why we are doing this likewise ma'am uh, what will be the end results and uh, we will see it in little later okay we will write a problem statement because what is what is what is going to be our ideal achievement our ideal idea is to arrive at some solution some processing of your data set and arrive at some uh, output say for example here they are saying find the say for example find the students from this city okay from delhi city who has spent the amount like uh, students more than 1500 or 1000 rupees okay uh, then what you have to do you have to check uh, uh, maybe moni here only moni is there if students like uh, suresh and john is there in uh, customer database also and say for example uh, 2 comma or some other id 4 comma or 10 comma john is there he is from uh, ages 32 and uh, delhi e, delhi and he has uh, spent 1000 rupees okay this is also present in that cases if they are asking find the students okay who has spent more than 1000 rupees okay and the, the students belonging to delhi school okay and also their ages like that so in that case you will combine the two groups and you will get the results like this then you will you will display like for the delhi city you will have suresh john and moni who has spent more than thousand rupees so this will be your problem statements that we will see it once we understand all our basic operators how we can write it then we can up, uh, apply all those things okay so i think i will stop here is that okay because uh, joins we will see it in the next class uh, from joins how do we generate tuples right because now we are creating a schema if i show you here <coughs> scheme uh, describe any relation or relation name i have given it as a cust right one relation okay see we have all given the primitive data types okay and we have just uh, created a single tuple tuple values right when you dump and see this a uh, cust data set is loaded as a tuple not as a bag not as a key value pair okay in the next class we will see how we can load that as a key value pair or as a bag okay because bag means you can group it together and you can retrieve the results from the group right likewise we will see okay one more fine group all is there cross is there only these two i will show then we can stop it joins and for each channel we will see in the next class and we will work on problem statements case studies okay so there is one other operator like group all okay what this operator will do is it will group uh, every all the data into a single bag and gives the result okay that is that is the difference between group all you can ask me ma'am co-group is also going to group your different data sets different relations and group all also is you are saying going to group all everything relation what does it mean it means like it will give it in a uh, single uh, bag if you see co-group result co-group result dump co-group it is giving it in a different bags like based on the city okay if i group it all there is uh, another operator like a group all i will give it as a group uh, 
g all okay relation name as a g all every command you are going to execute that will go into a relation explain except split okay split store and dump everything you will go into a relation okay that relation only you can view it okay group uh, that co group one all if i do like this it is a fine now i will dump uh, g all now it will give everything together in a single bag okay it went uh, uh, not as a single bag all are grouped together into a single tuple okay not a bag guys into a single tuple see if you can see it will it is giving all the results into a single tuple as a one tuple open it with a uh, uh, what open brackets here and close it with that and all these things are grouped together in a single brackets this is what group all will do okay group all of uh, g uh, i will create another relation okay group all for vaccine data equal to group vaccine data is my data set see is my relation in that all i will give okay it is fine then it will dump g r all see it all everything if you can see go and view you cannot see it separately 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 it will be there but it will group everything together and give it into a single tuple okay you can see all the results here uttar pradesh everything okay that what a group operate group all operator will do okay uh, and uh, what else cross is there cross will work as a join okay full join we see you know this we will see it when we see joins tomorrow we will see okay i will stop it here any doubts you can ask me otherwise you